Business Garage, the second one of 2023. My name is Jeremy and together with... Uh, my name is Chris Kawasa. We are going to be leading you in a time of prayer. Prayer for business, prayer for the economy, prayer for God to do incredible things through your business ventures for the kingdom. And we are coming to you live from Worship Harvest Nalia. I'd like to invite you to join us. The Bible says that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So right now, I'm just going to invite you to pray and just to begin to call upon God because He's here with us. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for all the things that you do. Which means that you are blessed as an individual, but not just you, even your, business, your business is blessed. Yes. Because you are blessed, yes. your business is blessed. So I want us to pray that we will have that insight. Yeah? Remember the first eye from last week. That you will have that insight that you are blessed and that your business is blessed. I want you to pray right now for a renewing of your mind to that truth. Yeah. That you will know that you are blessed. Come on, go ahead and pray. Belesora na bra, kezanda la bakia. O preseke bara ya sani. Rasele kobo sika baba. Bare kolele bro yo seka. Thank you, Jesus, because we are blessed. Thank you, because your word says that we are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly place of Christ. Thank you, King of glory, O God, because we are not hustling like the people of the world. We are not sketching, O God, like the people of the world. But we are blessed, and not only are we blessed, we are blessed to be a blessing. And we just declare it over every business in the name of Jesus. Right now, I just declare a renewing of the mind over every business person in this place that you will renew your mind to your new position in Christ. Thank you, Jesus. 
Cobre de Nebason de Lebrayo Sica Baba, Maslo da la Kele de Brodele, Kaye Sele de Brodele, Kaye, Sika Baba Sombele. Father, I just come against the hustling spirit in the name of Jesus, that we will know that we are blessed in the name of Jesus. I just pray that every business that is represented on this call will get a conviction to legalize their business, a conviction to start paying their taxes. Why? Because we are blessed to be a blessing in the name of Jesus that we will begin to do things that kingdom way in the name of Jesus that we will understand King of Glory that you have given us all things pertaining to life and godliness in the name of Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord your word in Romans 12 2 which says yes. do not be conformed to this world yes. but be transformed by the renewing of your mind yes. that you may prove what is yes. that good and acceptable and perfect oh, will of God. Yes, your fruitfulness, so your increase yes. is not canon. It's not canon. It's ordained by God. Yes. It's the perfect will of God for you to increase. So we declare that our minds will be renewed, that we shall receive the yes. wisdom. As Apostle yes. was teaching last oh, week, yes. he said that insights yes. come from three things. Information, oh, yes. connection, and experiences. Yeah. That as we run our businesses, we will get into spaces where we receive insights, where we will see new things, yes. where we shall be uh, taught yes. new things, where we shall get wisdom on how to run our businesses, how to grow, how to treat our employees, how to have vision, how to execute strategies, and many yes. other things. So we declare that the insights that we receive will be insights ordained by God, yes. not by man, but by God. That we shall not be conformed to this world, but we shall use principles and wisdom that God has ordained. So we declare a supernatural exposure to insights about your business, about your sector, about many things that you're struggling with in your business. Yes, we thank you, Lord. Yes, we just pray that we will not be conformed to this world, the pattern of this world, the patterns of unfaithfulness, the patterns of disloyalty, the patterns of not paying our employees on time, the patterns of not paying taxes, the patterns of avoiding, the patterns of, 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 of not paying taxes in the name of Jesus. Rabode, we just declare that we are not conforming to them, but, but we are being transformed by the renewing of our minds in the name of Jesus, by the renewing of our minds in everything that we do. Raseke bakora de lebron de lera, zopete le kosite de brenele, the pattern of, of, of cheating our, our fellow colleagues in the name of Jesus. We refuse those patterns in the name of Jesus, and we just declare that we are transformed, that our minds are being renewed, that we are organizing and, and living our businesses in a way that gives you glory, that we are doing business the kingdom way in the name of Jesus. We renew our minds that we are wired for increase in the name of Jesus, that we are designed to develop and to prosper and to grow and to expand on every side in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we continue with that scripture from Genesis 1 28 as he says be fruitful and multiply after declaring that you are blessed he says to you be fruitful and multiply and one of the things we learned last week from Apmo is the second I is income income yeah we just want to declare that your business will be an income generating business we also learned last week from Proverbs 14, 23. In all labor, there is profit, but idle chatter leads only to poverty. So I just want us to declare, Pastor Chris, in agreement with the fact that we have been blessed, that we have been commanded to be fruitful and to multiply, that every business represented here will be an income generating business. business. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to We thank you, Lord, that even as we do our work, even as we strategize and look for clients and do all these great things in order to increase, that we shall receive supernatural increase from you. So we declare, Lord, that no business tuned in right now will suffer loss. No business will decrease this year. That businesses will multiply. Businesses will open branches. 
Businesses will increase their customers. Businesses will increase their income. We thank you, Lord, for new opportunities. We thank you, Lord, for new contracts. We thank you, Lord, for new relationships that will open doors for us. Doors that we've never seen before. We thank you, Lord, that that's available for us. Jeremoko Brekezete, Zikaramaka, Brokoti, Mazite, Lechekera, Mazitete, Ore Bakara, Mazite, Lechekera, Mazite, Zile Mazate, Supernatural increase in income. Supernatural increase in income. Times ten, times two, times three, times whatever you desire, Lord. Speak that figure that you want to increase. Speak it right now into your business. Speak the taxes you want to pay. Speak that figure. Speak the income tax you want to remit. We just declare it. shall be true. Yes, in the name of Jesus, Rabbi De Lebra, that we shall be income generating business, that our business venture shall be profitable, that our products and services shall be profitable in the name of Jesus, that we shall price our products correctly that they may be profitable, that our services, King of Glory, shall be good in the name of Jesus, that they shall meet the needs of our customers in the name of Jesus, that we shall go above and beyond that, that, that the service that we offer in the name of Jesus, that we shall offer after sale services to our customers that we shall do a lot more king of glory that we promise them in the name of Jesus yes. Father we shall be quick in executing that which you have called us to execute in the name of Jesus with speed and delight in the name of Jesus Father we just declare it Lord we just declare it king of glory over us God is telling you to prepare for increase yes prepare yes, for increase what does that look like employ yes. new people yes go out and plan for increase Broker. build systems for increase yes sir. get people get um, yes. employees for increase get yes. employees of much higher capacity yes prepare for increase in whatever yes. area you think you're lacking Amen. prepare for increase get a bigger office space yes. buy more equipment Oh, yes. Be ready for increase. Let not increase surprise you. That's the word for a business person out there. Yes. Let not increase surprise you. Prepare for increase. Right, yes, and that is the third scene. We are preparing and praying for increase in our businesses. If you're just joining us, welcome to Business Garage, and this is the second edition of Business Garage 2023. And we are beginning with prayer. We are praying for increase in our businesses and last week we learned that you increase something by letting out less than what comes in so we just pray in the name of jesus for increase in the name of jesus father you say to us in your word that we shall increase on every side that we will not be small but that we shall go from glory to glory we have read in your word that the path of the just shines brighter and brighter and to a perfect day and we just declare that our businesses shine brighter and brighter and to a perfect day that we will not decrease but that we will increase that we will not downsize our businesses but that we shall continue to increase that our systems are getting stronger and are being strengthened for increase in the name of Jesus that we are going from one business unit to another to more than one business unit that we are going from one town to another in the name of Jesus and we are going from one continent to another from one country to crossing borders in the name of Jesus Mantra da Sakela Deda Sondra Mako Musika Basore Medire Rakete Sobre Dele Kasikre Boka Yana Bakansi some accomplished businessmen and business women in the house to just receive that anointing and just declare increase over your businesses for those who are in the studio and those who are online we just declare it in the name of Jesus. A word of wisdom for someone. Uh, yes. As we speak about connections, find a man who has increased, who has gone ahead of you and attach yourself to them. Yes. That, that will be your channel of increase. Attach yourself to someone who has the anointing already. Amen. Someone who has branches, someone who has a turnover which is higher than you, someone who has more employees, someone who has more connections, more customers. Amen. Attach yourself to that person. Hallelujah. And your increase will come through that connection. Amen. We receive that word of wisdom. Now, last week we also learned about investment as the fourth eye. And we also learned 
that we need to grow what we have been given. Not by eating everything that comes into the business, but investing wisely. I want you to pray that your business will be a business that invests its resources wisely. That you will learn to put away money in places where it will increase. That there will be investments. That your business will grow. That you will buy land. That you will buy property. That you will buy buildings. That your business will not be wiped away by a crisis like the one we had in 2020. But because of your investments, you will exist beyond your generation. Go ahead right now and pray into that quickly. Thank you, Lord, for Thank you, Lord, for Radele besun delele braku soro braku sida raba baba baba for future investments for investments internally but also externally to have to buy assets for our business delele baba mosi but may we be a business businesses that invest in cash flow generating assets that our money and our resources will not just be spent on ourselves on paying for our overheads but that we shall invest money wisely that we may continue to grow in the mighty name of Jesus mandoro bakasi karaba and if you've invested before and your, and your investments yes. failed there's a new dispensation of fruitfulness yes. renew your mind to the fact that it's actually possible you can invest and you will get returns. So put aside your past pains, put aside your past experiences. We are moving forward. Investments that are going to be fruitful, we declare that yes. upon you. Do not fear to make that decision yes. because you have been hurt before. Yes. And we also want to pray for impact. I want you to pray that your business will be a generous business, that your business will be a business that gives towards the work of God, that your business will be a business that has impact in the community within which it is, that you will give towards the work of the kingdom, that you will give towards discipleship, that you will give towards church planting, that you will give towards building of churches yes. because your business is a kingdom business, business and it as long as you are anointed by god for the expansion for yes the of the business yes. so we just pray lord for every business represented online and in the room right now that our businesses will be generous in the name of jesus that we will set in place systems to be generous with our resources that we will give away part of our income, part of our resources, part of our revenue to the expansion of the kingdom. Father, we know that we exist, King of glory, for the salvation of souls and bringing in of the lost. And I pray that our businesses shall be set up to do that in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that every business represented will be a tithing business in the name of Jesus, that we shall give away 10% of our resources to the kingdom and to the work of ministry in the name of jesus that we will give those resources towards the planting of churches in the mighty name of jesus we just declare it in the name of jesus we just declare it in the name of jesus find the tithe number if your business out there Get your to go to your location and find a tithe number. If you're yes. in worship harvest, every location oh, yes. can issue a tithe number so that you start tithing as a business. Yes, sir. tithe as a business and find Bonga. someone who has done it to show you how. But also, if you're from another church, go yes. to your church and start tithing yes. in that church that you belong to as a business. You tithe as an individual, but also as a business because yes. the increase is for the business. We just declare it in Jesus' name. We just declare it. Uh, don't forget to uh, send prayer requests if you're online. Yes. Uh, send your prayer requests here. We can pray for you right now. We can pray for you. Whatever issue you have, whatever way you want God to help you to come through for you, type in the online chat yep. uh, on YouTube and we'll pray for you. 
Right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Unfortunately, we are out of time. But hey, you can keep praying for your business. We are going to keep praying. Please keep sending your prayer yes. request for your business because much as our prayer time is up, we are still going to continue to pray for you and for your business. If you are in need of some kind of business advice, you can just write it on the chat because we have so many anointed business coaches in Worship Harvest that are willing to stand with you and help you grow your business. We have the School of Practical Business. That is a very good place. We have the Business Leaders Network. All those are places that have been set up to help you grow your business. And thank you so much for joining us this morning once Pastor again Jeremy, together with Pastor Chris. We close, we want yes. to pray for the locations that are planting today. Your bread and okay. All right, yes. go ahead and just pray. I for thank that. you, Lord. We have 12 locations planting today. Yes, that is Worship Harvest on Gatarongai. That's new church plants in Worship Harvest that are launching today. Yes. Worship Harvest Guevaja, Worship Harvest Hoima, Worship Harvest Kakira, Worship Harvest Newcastle in the UK. Yeah. Worship of his Namulonge, Worship of his oh, Michiana, yes. you, Worship of his Palisa, Worship of yes. his Mawangala, Worship of his Busabala, Worship of his Nebi, and Worship of his Ndeje. Yes. We thank you, Lord, that your will is being done. Your will to multiply disciples is being done through churches. Churches are a gate of heaven, so we thank you for the increase of what we're receiving as a church. We thank you for the opportunity to plant churches because your kingdom is coming. Yes. Now, because you're sending church planters yes. to bring Christ in the locations, in the communities where they are. Oh, yes. We thank you for that increase. We don't take it for granted. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so Amen. much for joining us. Please get yourself some tea, some coffee, because in a little while the worship team is coming. And Abmo and Pastor B3 will be joining us. So thank you so much for joining us. God bless you. We'll catch you later. Bye. and greatly to be praised one generation shall commend your works to another this song is an anthem of what we believe when all is seen and shame there's greater gift and grace the love of God is broader working for our good when all is seen and shame, there's greater gift and grace. The love of God is brought a working for our good. We find pleasure in knowing Him, His presence and very self. The whole universe testifies of His work in our lives. Great is the Lord God, we sing His name. He's awesome, great is the Lord God. We sing His name right now. He's mighty. He's awesome. Our God is awesome and mighty. No one like Him. Is grace enough for thousands to reclaim? There's room enough for all creation and new ways. Oh, there is grace enough for thousands to reclaim. There's room enough for all creation and new ways. We find pleasure in knowing Him, His presence and very self, the whole universe.
We will see him face to face. We will walk the streets of gold with him forever. We will be singing. Hey! We find pleasure in knowing him, his presence, and there is self. The whole universe does the of his walking. Yo 
Lord. Bless the Lord for the great things He is doing for us in our lives, in our businesses, in our communities and this nation. Welcome to Business Garage again. My name is Chris Kawesa and I'll be your host today. Thank you for coming uh, here at Worship Harvest. We believe that God is and mandated. God is in our business and mandated our business. That's why we have a church for business people. So welcome to the number one online church for business people here at Worship Harvest. So we thank you for joining us. We are going through a series called Back to Basics by Abbas Mose. Back to Basics by Abbas We are going back to the basics of money. Because if your money question fails, then you cannot operate your business. So thank you for joining us this morning. And we are going to have fun today. So welcome if you're joining us for the very first time. Thank you for joining us. But just to tell you who we are, because you might have children and you don't know where you are. You are at Worship Harvest and the church is called Business Garage. Your online business for church people. And who are we here at Worship Harvest? We are a movement of the gospel, discipleship, and mission. And what's our purpose? Our purpose is catalyzing spiritual, social, and economic renewal in our immediate communities and as a result, the world. So, we are here to respond to that economic question, to catalyze economically. And we say that church begins on Monday. Sunday is garage time. As you do your business, that is your church. As you do your business, that is your church. So welcome again. I'm going to invite the worship team to worship with us as we have an opportunity to give. Uh, we want you to give. Uh, bless God so that you can be fruitful. And you, the giving options are on, uh, on the screen. But if you're in Uganda and you want to send to mobile money, you want to send, uh, you can pay using mobile money or Airtel money. And the number for mobile money is 0778 618 418. And for Airtel money is 0758 618 418. The other giving options are on the screen. So thank you for joining us. And I want to welcome the worship team to minister to us as we give.
Come on now, can you clap your hands to Jesus? you happy new year back to basics this is business garage if you're just joining us online on radio wherever you're joining us from you are right on time oh yes it is amazing what god is doing with businesses and you know what i want you to do right now this is not just for the business people this month we are doing a series at business garage called back to basics back to basics and god has blessed us because Apostle Mose, who is our main, uh, not guest, I can't call him a guest, but the main teacher for Business Garage this month, is taking us back to basics and is helping each one of us increase our income, our finances, grow. And last week was powerful, but as I say that, share the link, share the link, invite friends, family, neighbors, workmates, don't prosper alone. Don't be the only rich person among your friends because you'll be solving lots of problems. Get Get them wealthy at least if for no reason selfish reasons so that no one is behind and you know i'm going to tell you some quotes from last week if you're on social media especially youtube we can engage 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 remember today ask lots of questions engage you know tell me your highlights from last week what stood out for you i'm going to tell you some of the things that stood out for me statements that apostle mose made this is the year of fruitfulness and you can't have fruit without seed Oh yes, if you want fruit and no seed, you might be practicing small, small witchcraft, which may not even come to pass. So seed is the, is the thing you can control and today we will be talking about the seed of knowledge, which is insight, the seed of knowledge and wisdom. He also said we cannot advance the gospel while remaining poor. That's why we talk about economics here at Worship Harvest. And the last thing that stood out for me is that Apostle said, it's not enough to save money. Say, what a shock. It's not enough to save money. You must know how to invest it. He also said that our children will not inherit our degree. What a shock. Can you imagine you can't pass on your degree to your kids? After all the hard work, you can't. So you need to make money. <laughs> and we talked about the five eyes of business basics or financial basics. The first one was income, insight. Hey, I like income. You see where I went. Insight, insight, insight before income. And then income, increase, investments, and impact. And you know what? I got to stop talking because our guest is here. Okay, he's not our guest. Our teacher is here. And he's looking good. He's looking anointed. He's looking fine. He's looking relaxed. Wow. Welcome to Business Garage, Abmo. Thank you. Thank well, you. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good to I, see you. I send greetings. I knew it. <laughs> send greetings. To the people of Chitukutoi. <laughs> who are getting a new road. Hey. Wow. Okay, no, tamak. <laughs> I also send greetings to Mr. and Mrs. Muhwezi. Oh. Of Mlawachira. Uh-huh. Who got who have been fruitful. fruitful. Who got a baby boy? Oh, a bouncing baby boy. Yeah, enough for now. Wow. These are the greetings. Okay. They are good. Also to Bubbles, but I don't know whether she watches Business Garage. Oh, Bubbles yesterday um, decided that there's a bicycle she's buying you. Oh. Yeah. I just pray for you. <laughs> <laughs> that is serious. Has she noticed my need for exercise? I doubt it has anything to do with that. <laughs> what well, a shock. Uh, uh, up more welcome to Business Garage. What's on your mind for us this morning? What's on my mind, again, the five eyes, insight, mm -hmm. income, increase, investment, impact. But yes. uh, I want us to start with insight. Yes. Uh, God gave me some insight on, on Friday mm. as I was uh, teaching at School of Practical Business. Yes. Which, <laughs> if you love yourself and your business, you're going to join next year. Because this mm. year we mm. have started. Mm. To Unless Pastor Chris figures a way of, I don't know what kind of operation that would be, mm. <laughs> of getting you in. Uh. But it started in the morning when I was reflecting on Ephesians 1-3. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Blessed be the God and Father mm. of our Lord Jesus Christ mm. who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Yeah. And the idea that we Christians, we know we are spirit, soul, and body, but the essential you is your spirit. Yes. That's the eternal part of you. That's why your body changes characteristics and shape and other things mm -hmm. over the years mm. while your spirit remains the, the same. I thought about mm. it on mm. Friday evening mm. as I was going to minister that your spirit doesn't get tired. Wow. It is true. Yeah. Your spirit doesn't get tired. Yeah. That's why a blind man called Isaac mm. could bless a man mm. And the man he blessed mm. is worth trillions mm. of dollars today. Mm. <laughs> Thousands of years later. Mm. Thousands of years later. Mm. 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 Because your spirit doesn't get tired. Your spirit doesn't get old. Mm -hmm. Your spirit doesn't get aged. Mm. 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 And so, but God has deposited, you know, uh, he teaches in uh, Second Peter 1, that as his divine power mm -hmm. has given to us all things that Pertain. pertain to life and godliness yes. through the knowledge of him. Yes. I think that's Second Peter 1.3 one, three. or 1.4. One, yeah, 1.3. Mm. You know, so he has already given us everything yeah. that pertains to life and godliness, mm -hmm. including your business. Wow. And then you think about the fact that everything about the life of Jesus was supernatural, mm. including his finances. True. Yeah? yeah? Uh, this is going somewhere. So let's go. Don't let's get go. suspicious too quickly. You know, some people, they just, they have the spirit of suspicion. So when they hear Jesus, they think, huh? Please, uh, relax. This is business garage. And so it hit me mm -hmm. that for a person who is connected to God, mm -hmm. like you and I, come on now. It is wrong to start a business mm. to make money. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Because you are expecting the money to come from the business uh. to you. Uh. And yet, mm. the money comes from you to the business because the money is in you. Uh, okay. Yeah, you need to say that things you have said again. Okay. Yeah. So, you have all things. Yes. All things. Yeah. All. That, that's what Paul told the Corinthians. Mm. You have all things. Mm. Okay. Mm. He has given to us all, all things. things. He has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. Mm. How shall he not together with him, Romans 8, 32, freely. give us freely all things. Yes. So then you understand that business is simply a vehicle for manifestation of what you already possess on the inside. <laughs> so you, you don't start your business to make you money. You start your business to make for it money. Uh, Apostle. I, I don't start my business to make me money. Look. If you have here mm. a 5,000 liter tank mm. and you have here a one liter flask. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. And then you're thinking the flask needs to give some water to the tank. Of course. So. You have something going on that's not correct in oh, your brain. What a shock. It is the tank that should fill the flask so many times. So that we, the flask can serve. So that the flask just keeps distributing. Distributing what is in the tank. So for... Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to demonstrate it. You know, uh, you know, if you're a believer, be a believer. All right. Don't be a believer who thinks like an unbeliever. Yeah. So business is a, a method, a way in which 
the resources that are on the inside of you mm -hmm. can come out mm -hmm. and benefit the world. Wow. And you are the one that brings money into the business. The business doesn't bring money into you. I'm trying to remember the verse. Corinthians. No, not Corinthians. Who's this other Old Testament chap book that sounds like Corinthians? Chronicles, Chronicles. maybe. <laughs> The one, the, one, the, one, the one of who? Of Solomon? I'm about to get it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is uh, Second Chronicles 1.15. Mm. Mm? Mm. This is insight. Those who are tuned in. This and, is and, and, insights yeah, yeah, into yeah. Finance. finance. Read for us. Also, the king made silver and gold as common in Jerusalem as stones. Mm. And he made cedars as abundant as the sycamores which are in the lowland. Now, first Mataka. go to the verses before that so that we remove all the mystery. Mama. From verse 13? Uh-huh. Uh verse 14. 14? Uh-huh. And Solomon gathered chariots and horsemen. He had one 1,400 chariots and 12,000 horsemen whom he stationed in the chariot cities and with the king in Jerusalem. Now, the, the, the one in uh, uh, the, one, the other narr narration, mm. I think the one in Kings, will show you that he was doing business. Yes. Okay? okay. Uh, and so, it wasn't a mystery. It wasn't like money fell from the sky. Mm. Okay. So let me, allow me to check it out a little bit so that I can get it accurately. My plan changed as I, when I sat here. We like it. We like it. All I want to say is I hope you brought your brain to business garage today. If you had decided to leave it at home, pick it up or in the bedroom, go and get it. Because you're going to need it today. That was what? Second Chronicles. Yes. Oh, one. Why am I in 15? Oh, it's, is, is, it, is, it, is it First Kings, maybe? Nine? Mm -hmm. first Can Kings you give us nine, First Kings nine from 26? First Kings nine? About uh, Solomon built a fleet of ships, which is near. Mm -hmm. All right. No, no, yeah. No, no. It's, it's also in oh, the Chronicles. Chronicles 9. Yeah, Second there. Chronicles 9. Where we were. Okay. Second Chronicles 1 15. Second Chronicles 1 15. Now go down to 16. Ah, okay. And Solomon had horses imported, imported from <laughs> Egypt and Kebe. Those who are involved in import and export. I'll I, be there. I bless you. You are not the first. <laughs> Here was the first import Was and that export. necessary, sir? <laughs> first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this is a guy, he, these people were already into international trade. And for us, you're here, wow. you're stuck between uh, Chalwajal oh, wow. and Chira. <laughs> you can also <laughs> operate internationally. I'll be there. So he imported <laughs> horses from Egypt, the king's merchants. Merchants. Solomon that just didn't pray and money fell from the sky. Wow. He had an, an international business. He had merchants. Bought them in Keve at the current price. Next verse. They also acquired and imported from Egypt a chariot for 600 shekels of silver and a horse for 150. Thus, through their agents, they exported them to all the kings of the Hittites mm -hmm. and the kings of Syria. Is this the Bible? <laughs> Are you clicking? I'm, I'm clicking. <laughs> so because when people think about the wealth of Solomon, yeah. they think he sat there in the temple and meditated. No. And the more he meditated, the more gold showed up in Jerusalem. Now when you see wow. gold and silver, don't think they are talking about gold and silver. They are talking mm. about money. money. So through his international trade and other things like that, Solomon made, verse 15, money to be like stones in Jerusalem. Verse 15. 
He made money as abundant. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Ask your neighbor if money is abundant where they are. Uh, now, <laughs> let's let's stay, stick with the point, sir. Keep talking. <laughs> let's not involve neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> I send greetings to our studio audience. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> virus. <laughs> now, uh-uh. the, here is the thing I want you to, to know. Hmm. Hmm? 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 Tell us. It is not the trade that made Solomon oh. rich. It is the blessing of God that made Solomon rich and the trade was simply a way of manifesting the wealth. Yes. Your business will never make you rich. It is God who makes you rich. Wow. And then he gives you a business to express that thing. Mm. Like when you get married, mm, um, tell me. You get married to express the love that God has put in you. Fire. Oh. La- marriage will never make you lovely. <laughs> it really won't. You make marriage lovely. Come on now. All those who enter marriage thinking it's going to make them lovely, they are disappointed eventually. It is you who brings the love that has been poured out in your heart Mm. into the marriage. Mm. It is you who brings the money that has been put in your spirit into the business. Wow. This church doesn't make me money. I make money for this church. Yeah. And if someone else was in charge of charge of this church, it it would have different money. Correct. So your business is simply an expression of how much wealth you have decided to release from your spirit. That hurts. Okay. I don't know if people are. Are you, are you trying to are encourage there people us? Online? Are there yeah. people online? They are there, sir. You but they are not people? talking to you. Because the, the ones here in the studio, yeah. they are quiet. So yeah. let's see. <laughs> Maybe the people online are, 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 are saying something, anything, whatever. Because the people in studio, they've decided mm. they shall not say anything. To so, anyone. To anyone about <laughs> anything, anything anymore. anymore. So if you're online, please help say something to me. Yeah. So, so that, that it's the king who made Wait, wait. Yeah. Are you seeing the order? I'm seeing the order. He doesn't start with the tread. No. Oh, and even the in horses. The no. No. He starts with the king, the king. making money abundant. Yes. Then he talks about the tread. Inside you out. have a lot of money in your spirit. Oh, no. Andrew Mark said, if we understood what we have, what we have in our spirit can bankrupt heaven. <laughs> oh, yes. Jesus. You show us Ephesians uh, 1, around 18, 19. Mm-hmm. 18. Uh huh. The eyes of your understanding being that you may know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? Mm. You see, even the English is not good. No, it's really not. Mm. Riches of, of the glory, glory of his inheritance. inheritance. And where is this in riches the of the glory of the inheritance? It's in the saints. It's not in the business. You see, Jesus didn't die for your business. Jesus <gasps> he died, for, died me. for you. And the inter- inheritance was not given to your business. The inheritance was given to you. And then you take the inheritance you received from Christ into your business. Uh, okay. 
And that, it's not a small inheritance. So are you doing a small business? Uh, okay. There are some comments you wanted on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to read for you one? No, 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 first wait. Uh, uh, it's we, a, are just still, a quick we are response. still set, we are still setting uh, the stage. Okay. This is setting the stage. Someone has said, what a shocking shock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, eventually I will ask questions for Amuntu huh? Wawansi. So, so that, that's, it starts with knowing what you have, what mm. you possess, eh. and understanding that business is simply a method of manifestation. Mm. Business is a method of manifestation of wealth. Okay. The wealth is not in the business, it's in you. And other people who I don't even know whether they are believers or not, they understand this. When you look at Elon Musk and all the things he does, eh, eh. You, you can see that it is not the things that make him. He's the one He's who makes the, the one. things. Yes. If Elon Musk came and took over your business, then you, 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 you run today. You see, nervous laughter. <laughs> in two years, two you years. Know, look, because of the way he thinks, in two years, he will take it to a level where you will never be able to take it in 100 years as long as you continue thinking the way you do. Because it's inside out. And you know, you teach these things to people and they ignore you because you're a pastor. Of what course. do you know for us? Yes. Okay, you show me your stuff also. Yeah. So I, I want people to understand. People on BLN and wherever, understand how this thing works. Wow. The wealth is inside. Your business is an expression of what's inside. It doesn't make you, you make it. <sighs> Let me give you another example. Give us. Uh, do, do people like examples? Uh, 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 we need do examples. Do the people in the studio like examples? <laughs> there was a man called Peter mm -hmm. and his brother and he, their father, mm. they had a business. Mm, it's true. A fishing business. Mm. And uh, so one time, one time, they went out and the whole night they caught they, nothing. Yeah. Now don't look at your neighbor. <laughs> or ask them, in January, what have you uh, caught? Uh, let's stick with Peter, please. You are telling us about Peter. But Peter. the Bible says weeping may endure for a night, but joy <laughs> but comes joy. in the morning. <laughs> So some people's businesses, it's like they are going through the night the of night. Peter. <laughs> what a shock. What a shock. And then another man called Jesus, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. with a capital M, yes. who had money and wealth in his spirit, came to the lakeside, mm. like you, you have money and wealth in your spirit, just like Jesus, just because like you were born Jesus. again. Yeah. And he told him, uh, can I use your boat? <laughs> hey, oh. Boat free. available. As in, there is no fish in the boat, yeah, so, so we are here. Mm. Mm -hmm. So after he tells him, oh, uh, put, put, put the lower the net. Mm, for a catch. For a catch. And he says, mm. dude, mm. Huh? Master. we've been here the whole night. Going we caught nothing. nothing. Yeah. Meanwhile, mm. he doesn't know mm. that the person who has been sitting in his boat mm. has yeah. capacity mm -hmm. to call all the fish from every corner of that. While Jesus was there preaching, yeah. fish, w f fish were arranging themselves by the side of the boat. Come on, fish. Yeah. yeah. As he was there, blessed is this this whatever, mm. repent, mm. Oh, what, mm. fish. fish. The people, these other guys have been trying Toiling. to catch fish, mm. like many of you. Eh, eh. Ooh, eh, eh. Trying to catch clients. Nothing. Fire, 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 fire. <laughs> and then a, a man who can summon fish, Nekete. who can manifest fish, mm. who understands that it is inside out. Inside out. It is not the nets and the long nights that so. give you the fish. My goodness. The fish is in your spirit. Okay. You just have to call it. Because he has given us all things. 
That includes fish. Is, is fish a thing? It's a thing. Fish is not a thing. Who said it's not a thing? You see, the only part of the Bible that works for you is the part you believe. I believe. So if all things include fish, mm. and you are in fish business, mm. so these other people have used the nets nothing. Uh, they've been rowing all over the lake. Mm. Now this one sits there, and as he's talking, talking, he's calling fish. He's just buying time for the fish to come, because some of it is delaying. It's coming from very far <laughs> in the lake. <laughs> He's talking, talking. Then when he's done, when he's sure it's there, eh. he says, okay. Because I don't even remember that he made an altar call in that ah. someone in the, in the boat. <laughs> oh my so God. he steps off the boat and he tells the professionals. So bad. Yeah, put the net the down. The pastor is telling the professionals. So they're like, they are like dude, we, <laughs> what do you know about fishing? It's daytime. They, first of all, fish you catch at night. At night. It's that time we, we already have concluded we caught nothing. And he's like, but then he says, but at your word, when the guys let down the net, they realized that this man had used his spirit to suck all the fish from every corner of the lake and just deposited them on one side of the boat. <laughs> and he says, now pick it up. Just pick it up. Use your business, your nets, to just pick it up. Mm -hmm. Pick up what I can manifest. Yes, 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 yes. That's what Solomon did. He wow. caused all the money in the region to come to Jerusalem. Then he said, okay, now, horses, this, that. And you know when it's like that, it doesn't really matter what business you it do. It really doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> it can be agriculture, exactly. it can be fishing, it can be fumigation, it can be design. It, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is. It's okay. It's not the sector. Yeah, it's not sector driven. Okay. Eh. Hey, people, 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 they don't want to talk. Okay, may let me keep talking a little bit. <laughs> For me, what I'm hearing from that story is that it's not a function of longevity because they spent all night. Mm -mm. It's not a function of strategy. They were seasoned businessmen. It's not a function of hard work. They worked hard and toiled. It's not a function of a sector that they were fishermen, but it's a function of revelation. I agree entirely, entirely, entirely. Deuteronomy 8.18 mm -hmm. And you shall remember the Lord your God for it is <laughs> he who gives you power to get wealth? It's not your business that gives you power to get you wealth. People. That's why there is entrepreneurial poverty. People who are in business and they are poor. And some people, they wish they had kept their job. Why? Because you don't understand where the money comes from. You think it comes from the business. Fire. It is he who gives you power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which he sought to your fathers as it is this day. Who gives you the power to get wealth? God. Since no one is talking, yeah, I'll continue with my things. Isaiah 48, 17. <laughs> Read for us. Okay. That says the Lord, your Redeemer, uh -huh. the Holy One of Israel. Ah. I am the Lord, your God, who teaches you to profit. Hey. Who leads you by the way you should go. Who teaches <laughs> you to profit. It is not your mentor who teaches you to profit. My God. God can use your mentor. Mm. God can use your coach. Mm. God can use anyone, anyone. to teach you. Yeah. But he's the one who teaches you. Yes. And he says, I teach you to profit. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And, and I lead you by the way you should go. Because there are some ways, ways you go where you, you will not profit. Uh. Yeah. And he says, no, pass this side. This is where the money is. Uh. You are like, ah, this is what they told us. Oh. And then before you know it, you have more debt than, uh, than, than, uh, than, than not even profit, than, than, 
than the whole thing put together. Oops. Because you are not willing to be led by the way you should go. Oh, yes. Mm. If we are believers, mm. if, let me tell you, mm. if, if, if believers cooperated with God, mm. we would dominate the business world. Amen, Lord. Let it yeah. be. But we are not dominating the business world because we have refused to cooperate with the one who sent us to do it. Mm. We want to behave like the other people who were not sent by anyone. Eh, eh. And so we don't have a chance until we change the way we think, the way we operate, and who the boss, the real boss is. is. Yes. Imagine if Peter had refused, saying, you, you, you Jesus, what do you know? <laughs> Just because you came from Nazareth where they make uh, whatever cupboards, you think now you are going to tell us about fishing. Wow. Yeah, Jesus taught Peter how to profit in seconds. Mm. But you see, if Peter was the CEO mm. and Jesus told him, it means he had to allow Jesus to have the dominant position yes. of, it is daytime, you've been working all night, but they still fish there. Put the <laughs> net down. <laughs> Quietness Presbyterian Church, you're welcome. Mm. Both in house and online. Let's okay. go to Isaiah 45, okay. verse 3. Mm, read. Isaiah 45, 3. I will give you the treasures of darkness hey. and hidden riches of secret places. Mashiti, that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by your name, am the God of Israel. I'll give you treasures of darkness. Hidden, you know. Here is something that novices don't know: money is hidden. Yes. It is oh yes, hidden. It's a yeah, like even those who are in studio, the person seated next to you, mm. you don't know what kind of wealth they control. It's a mystery. It's it's all hidden. You see, there someone in a t-shirt. You don't know. 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 Oh yes. It is hidden. Yeah. You be there taking tea with someone, coffee after business garage. You are there at where? Brin Cafe. Yeah. Brin Cafe. You, yeah. People are, people are good at hiding wealth. Wow. In fact, it is the <laughs> poor people who, Look. who try to show it. Mercy. Mercy. The real wealth, wealthy people, yeah. you will never know. You can it's talk true. to that guy and go away and you don't know that guy controls three, four billion dollars. Because it's hidden. It's hidden. If you go to the wealthy cities of the world, mm. London, New mm. York, Frankfurt, wherever, and you're walking on the street, mm. you can go hungry and you real go hungry. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and yet there's a lot of money in the city. <laughs> but you have, it's hidden. Everything looks the same. Pavers, pavements, tarmac, cars, buildings, but the money is the hidden. The money is hidden. You see, for us, we can't even imagine. When they say someone has a hundred billion dollars, you can't even imagine what of, it is. Yeah, it is well. Yeah, we don't have the capacity Error. to contextualize Error. that. Error. Uh, honestly. How do you write it in Uganda shillings? <laughs> <laughs> Leave us alone. <laughs> Try to write it in Uganda it's shillings. Fine. <laughs> 370 trillion <laughs> shillings. You, you, I mean, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You see, this building we are in, mm. it's maybe four, five million dollars. Mm. Yeah, million. Million. Now, a billion it is, is well. 1,000 million. Yes, 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 yes. Now, when they say someone has 100 billion. It's fine. Uh. <laughs> there is no insight. <laughs> you just switch off. <laughs> no wonder the Queen of Sheba, there was no more spirit yeah, in her. Yeah. It's like, what Thank is you. this? What is this, honestly? Eh? What is what this? Is this? And she wasn't a poor woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she wasn't a poor woman. But she was like, what is this? Uh, this is not allowed. 
Have you ever been to certain places and you're like, this is not allowed? Yeah, like it's not okay. <laughs> it's really not okay. This is not right. Yeah. Hey. It's not right. What is this? He says, treasures of darkness. They are hmm. hidden. Well, mm. there are mm. hidden mm. riches mm. of secret places. Mm. In other words, it doesn't come. You see, I, 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 if, uh, I pity people who think you sit there, mm. converse with this person, this, 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 and money comes to you. It doesn't work <laughs> like that. Thanks. <laughs> so by now, you, have, you already know it doesn't work like that. Uh, okay. It is hidden. Mm. It is secret. Mm-hmm. It is a mystery. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Financial dominion is as much of a mystery mm. as divine healing is. Yeah, you, where you can't tell. How did this person beat cancer? Mm. You can't. You, can't. You, you cannot figure it out. It's a mystery of God. Mm. And it happens. Yes. So that's the same. Look, if it wasn't a mystery, a lot of people would be of rich course. and very wealthy. Very. Mm. Why is it the majority of the people don't have money? Mystery. It's a mystery. It is hidden. Mm. And we're talking about insights. Mm, I, I think so. <clears throat> Second Corinthians 8, 9. For you know the grace mm. of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, mm. that you through his poverty might become, become rich. Yeah. It's a mystery. It's, it's a mystery. <laughs> the same way he became, uh, he, he was beaten yes. that our bodies may be healed. Yes. The same way he became sin that we may be made the righteousness of God in him. Yes. He became poor that through his poverty we may be made rich. And what do we do as Christians? We spend the whole time ignoring him and his instructions Oops. and doing our thing in the flesh and then we wonder where the money is. Whoa. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we wonder where the money is. Yeah, the money is in your spirit. You have ignored your spirit. Yeah. Oops. Jesus can call Oops. forth all the money Oops. in form of fish. Oops. And uh, God fed the Israelites in the wilderness using yes. quails. Yes. <laughs> Moses first asked him, you're going to give meat. Where are the farms? Where, are the, where, is, the, where is the cattle? God. He said, you, you, you're a small boy. You don't know who you're playing with. He said, just wait tomorrow, you'll see. And then wind and all the quails came and just, people were just picking and eating. Yes. Now, all that is wealth. Yes. That is wealth. What was the purpose? If what would uh, what would be gold worth in the wilderness? Who are you going to trade anything with? Wow. Yeah, the, the real wealth was food. Yeah. Manna and quails. That yes. was wealth, and he made it abundantly yes. available. Jesus is teaching, and people are hungry, and he asks, "What's here?" He said, "This dude has uh, some fish and some bread. Yeah, mm. some buns and some." Fish fingers mm. says, <laughs> says bring, and then he makes it. Av- you know the other guy was saying, the money we have is not enough to buy food for all yeah, these. Yeah, for all the people. He said, keep your money. Yeah, I have money in my spirit. I'm going to feed these people. Yeah, I think we'll be back next Sunday. What we? It's your turn. What? Yes. <laughs> to do what? <laughs> to, to conclude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you people, I don't think that we knew what we were getting ourselves into. Listen. First of all, help me appreciate Apostle. <laughs> this what we have just received eh, is something that has the capacity to completely turn around our lives, our businesses, 
our finances, personal finances completely. So I'm going to encourage you to listen to this message every day, like every day from tomorrow, every day until the next time we come. Every day, please every day. Once a day. One times one minimum. One times one medicine. Because unless for you, you've already arrived in your finances. Because I can assure you that we've not understood what we've had today. We haven't. We've just been shocked, 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 and discombobulated here and there. <laughs> so just go. Let's go and listen to this at least one, and then share this message with on every group. Just say, please, please, please listen to this. Please, please listen to this. You just put it out everywhere you can. One times one is the recommended dosage for yeah this message. And then be back next Sunday at the same time with friends, family, workmates, neighbors. Seriously, guys, just get everyone you can to tune into Business Garage this month and maybe even next month. Who knows the way things are going? I think that our plans are going to change because God is up to something. This has been a very critical message. And if you listened in, everything is about Jesus. God wants us rich. Our wealth begins with knowing Jesus as our Lord and Savior, that you can't ignore your spirit and expect things to work out in the flesh. So Jesus right now is calling you who is watching, you who tuned in, you who is listening in. He's calling you to get the first true wealth, which is being one spirit with him, which is becoming a child of God. And that's what I want to invite you to. If you're watching or listening and you've never made Jesus Lord of your life, we are not inviting you to a religion. We are inviting you to a relationship with Jesus to make him the Lord, controller, commander, father in charge of your life. And so I'd like you to pray a very simple prayer after me. You just need to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. And just like that, you will be a child of God. Then, no matter what mistakes you've made or not made, once he comes into your life, he changes everything. Not just your money, everything. Everything changes. So I want you to pray this simple prayer after me. As long as you're hearing my voice, just pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I give you my life and I receive your life. I receive your forgiveness and I receive your acceptance. Today I am a child of God. Today I am born again. I denounce the devil and his work and his authority. Today I am under the authority of Jesus Christ. I am a child of God. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, you are born again. Welcome to the family of God. Please send us a message on this number that I'm going to read. Write it down and send us a message because we want to walk with you. The number is 0775-642449. That is 0775-642449. If you're outside Uganda, you just add the Uganda code to plus 256. Send us a message. Let us know that you've become born again. No matter where you are in the world, we will walk with you. Thank you so much for joining us once again for Business Garage. What an amazing word from our teacher. We will see you again next week. Same place, 7 a.m., same time on all our platforms. And of course, join us at 9 a.m. on the exact same platform for another powerful teaching. Which is, which is, and what have we called it? Happy New You. It's talking about the new you, and I can assure you it's going to be an extension of today's message, a deeper extension of today's message. So tune in at 9 a.m., invite your friends, come to church physically at any of the locations where we gather across the, the, the nations and in Uganda. Just Google, you'll find that where we meet in more than 70 locations and at the end of today there will be 82 where we gather. So come and join us physically 9 a.m. and later at 11.30. We look forward to seeing you. Thank you for joining us. Remember one times one is the recommended dosage. Once again, help me appreciate up more for such a powerful word today. See you next week. You're blessed. Bye.